Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of very interesting updates and we are starting with this guy right here who is not even a competitive bodybuilder. This is Tristan Lee, I'm sure you know about this guy, he's a very popular fitness influencer, let's put it that way. So ever since I knew about this guy, ever since I saw this guy first, he kind of always looked like this. He was always super shredded, super peeled, year-round. He was contest ready, but like seriously contest ready. His physique was always like super low body fat percent. And really, of course, logically, he didn't change much. He actually posed on the stage before. I don't think he ever competed, but here he was I think guest posing and you might guess that he was like 10 years old, but actually he was 15 here. So, ever since I know this guy, once again, he was always super shredded, and of course, he didn't grow much. I mean, how much growth can you really expect if you're like 2% body fat year-round? So, since his age of 15 up until now, I mean, sure, he did get bigger, he did get more detailed, more ripped, but as far as the overall growth, I mean, especially considering how much muscle this kid has when he was really young, you would assume that he has good genetics to grow, and I think he does, but he just never could grow because he was always that lean, which means he never really ate much food. And I hope that that's just it, that he just wasn't eating food. Hopefully he wasn't taking who knows what to remain this lean. Now, finally, at the age of 21, once again, he decided to start bulking. And I think the progress is very visible. He's actually growing. Now, remaining so lean year-round for who knows how many years in the past, it definitely helped him uh, grow his brand. Because if he looked like this, this is nothing special. You know? This is average, probably worse than average. But if he's shredded all year-round, then, you know, he's gonna attract more attention. But now that he finally grew his brand, grew his name, he can finally start a bulk and actually put on some, some actual size. And what I'm wondering is, is he gonna compete, finally? First of all, does this physique look like he can actually do something in competitive bodybuilding, in classic physique, of course? So we got this posing video, and we also got posing practice with Mr. Olympia, Derek Lansford. And I'm assuming this guy is going to compete because he's surrounded with so many professional bodybuilders. I think he would love to, I think he would like to do it. But is he going to? I don't know. I don't think he announced anything, but he's bulking now, he's practicing posing, so he might do it. Now, back to the original question, can he do something? Is there the potential for him to be good on stage, good competitive classic bodybuilder? Well, as of right now, I don't see a ton of potential, but I wouldn't say that he has no chance. Maybe if he started competing and actually saw what his weaknesses are on stage and he kept adding muscle and improving, maybe, maybe he would actually make a good competitor someday. Check this video out, it's him with uh, Derek Lansford uh, teaching him how to pose, basically. So, once again, we got a front lat spread, it's actually not looking that bad. Once again, you know, that's really not a, I don't know, classic physique pro material, but there is something to work with here. Side chest also looking pretty good, most muscular, not a classic physique pose, but you know, it's, it's one of his best poses, I think. Back double bicep, I mean, I don't like it, I mean, his legs look too small and I don't think his waist looks uh, narrow enough, but I don't like this camera angle as well. The details are there in the back, in, in the shoulders, in the hamstrings, so there is definitely a lot of work to be done, the way things are right now. I would say he needs to continue bulking, continue packing the muscle, and once he's done with that, you know, get shredded and see what it looks like and hopefully step on the stage. I think it would be really interesting to see him on the stage to see how much of that potential he actually has. But you guys tell me in the comment section down below, what do you think? Can he, could he potentially turn pro in classic physique someday? Or what do you think about uh, Tristan Lee as a competitive bodybuilder or classic bodybuilder? Alright, next up we got a physique update of an actual bodybuilder, it's Andrew Jacked. And as you can see right now, his weight is 141 kilos, which is 315 pounds. And this is his physique at that weight. Is this weight impressive for Andrew Jacked? Now, you guys know that this guy is prepping for the Arnold Classic 2024. 
he was fifth at a Mr. Olympia and he's spoken about as one of the best bodybuilders in the world. He believed last year he was actually better than both Nick Walker and Samson Dauda at the pre-judging of the Arnold Classic. So he believes he can win this show. He's not prepping to be second or third. He's prepping to win the Arnold Classic. Now, you guys also know that he's actually taller than Samson Dauda. And I would say quite a bit taller because Samson is not even six foot, he's like five foot eleven. And Andrew is, I believe, six foot two. So at that height, you know, he needs to be heavier than 315 pounds because Samson on stage is actually 300 pounds. In the offseason, Samson goes over 330 pounds, but here in this physique update, uh, Andrew actually looks pretty lean. You know, he, he didn't gain any fat from the Mr. Olympia, and I think he's keeping it very tidy. I would say he's really focused on bringing his absolute best version to the Arnold Classic. But you guys know my opinion on this. Some guys can make progress from show to show, prepping all the time, like Samson Dauda. Andrew Jack can't do that. I mean, he didn't stop competing for the past two years, and he really didn't grow that much. He's still on the smaller side. He's tall, but he still needs to fill out that frame, so I would prefer him to take some time off and actually grow, but I do think he's trying to make as much progress as possible in this in-between period, because in his physique updates he does look really big, really full, so I'm guessing he is not taking it easy, he is not taking this time, you know, to, to recover, to, to rest, he's actually putting in the work. So I don't know how much progress can he actually make, but even if he makes minimum progress, he was still fifth at the Mr. Olympia, so he's probably gonna be top three at the Arnold if Hardy doesn't compete, doesn't end up on that stage because of whatever visa issues or who knows what, then he can probably be second, you know, pushing Samson. So he's still a top guy, a top dog at this show, and I expect him to progress a little. I think he did make some progress uh, in these past two years. I think his back came up, but, you know, he still doesn't have good enough hamstrings, good enough, like, big enough arms. You know, he's still not as big as round as the actual top guys. But, you know, once again, the way he's looking right now and the way he looked on the stage, if he brings good conditioning and, let's say, improves a little bit, and let's say he improved for the Mr. Olympia a little bit, but he didn't show it because he wasn't in condition, then maybe we'll see a really improved version of Andrew Jack at the Arnold Classic. It might be the case. It's very, very possible. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. All right, next we got a physique update of Rafael Brandau. And in this video, which I'm going to play in a moment, he actually looks much better than the previous ones. So his conditioning is slowly coming along and I guess the gear is kicking in so he's getting fuller, bigger, harder and you know his physique is starting to come alive. Let's check out the video so most muscular right here. As you can see the conditioning is good and the fullness is coming along. Now the separation is not really quite there when he does this most muscular it's starting to show a little but it's still not there. And you guys know he took an entire year off to focus on growing, to getting as big as possible. He had the help of Neil Hill. He was in his corner to help him with growth. And I think they did a good job with that because Raphael actually does seem bigger, fuller. But even before when he was, you know, smaller, when people were saying that he should do the classic physique, he was 10th at a Mr. Olympia against some really tough competition and he was battling against Samson like two years ago at Romania Pro and those post-Olympia European shows. Samson and Rafael were rivals and apparently Samson managed to grow while competing as often as he did, but not everybody can do that. Unlike Andrew Jack, Rafael figured that out and he took some time off. And I think the progress will show on stage. I think he's going to be much bigger. And I don't think he ruined his midsection. I think his midsection is going to look great as well. He will still have the aesthetics. And he will be, you know, shredded and much bigger. And I think with Neil Hill in his corner, he's not going to get super, super uh, dry and then lose some size like he would with Chris Aceto. I think he's going to be big and aesthetic and conditioned enough. 
And I think that's going to be a winning package. I'm not saying he's going to win the Arnold Classic, but I think he's going to beat a lot of people. So I think we're going to witness a much, much improved version of Rafael Brando. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, guys, stay tuned, subscribe. Thank you so much. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.